Welcome everyone to today's Lotus Lab episode. We're going to be a little bit different, not really on education, about education, uh, but we're going to do just pickems for the Brazilian lock-in event on runitback.gg. Welcome everyone. So, in the pickems actually on runitback also have an MVP to choose from, but we're going to do that at the end. So first we're going to start with the teams in the round of 32. First matchup is Koi versus NRG Esports, and even though I think Koi has some solid fundament fundamentals to work with, like they have a really good coach, they have a great IGL, we call them that has... I think it's very underrated, by the way, and has a great way of leading teams and getting them better to a point when they qualify, actually, for international events. I would say Koi is a really good team, but I don't think they stand a chance against our energy. And the thing is that there's a small chance that maybe energy is going to ha have a little bit of struggles because of artists, you know, filling the big shoes of Yay. But I don't think that the man that walks on water is going to fail. So this is, I think like this is, this is an RG. Now Detonation and Giants Gaming. My friends, it, it's going to be tough for, for Detonation. Like, I don't know. Like you have so much, so much raw power in Giants Gaming. You have Nuki, who is in my eyes, the most consistent player on the planet right now uh or was in the past and we'll see how it goes in in, in the next year but the nuki had always a different problem with fitting together with the team so maybe in this team he's gonna find that uh that 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 you know that that position for himself and japan as much as i as i love the community uh, i don't know man this is gonna be this, this is this is i feel like this is gonna be just a blowout for giants gaming so we're gonna go for Giants Gaming in the first one. Remember, this is a single, this is a single elim, right? So you lose, you go home. There's a super high pressure, and for many, many of the players that are gonna be playing on the stage, they didn't play LAN single eliminations before, so nerves can also rack people, and that means that sometimes someone who is a team that could be seen as favorite will lose and there's gonna be an upset it's gonna be an upset event for sure like it's gonna be an upset event for sure all right now gen g and loud i'm not gonna lie i can remember exactly the lineup from gen g uh king meteor okay uh secret as well there hmm but against loud yeah, I don't think I don't think this is the, the the problem that I see with the Japanese teams. They have a lot of passion, and they have a lot of a, a, as well mechanical skill. So they have like their pop offs moment, but the problem is they're not consistent enough with the strategy. Something that I had been seeing, you know, problems with with uh, some of the Brazilian teams like two years ago. They had been very similar. But they had even more raw mechanical skill. But then they upgraded their strategy a lot. So this is this is loud, one hundred percent. Now Fun Plus Phoenix versus Carmine Corp. Who is playing in in Fun Plus Phoenix? I actually have no idea. Yeah. Well, this is gonna be just a hmm. I don't know. I absolutely have no idea who's gonna win this. But I'm gonna tell you one thing. I think Kamen Corp are trolling because there's no way that Scream is gonna IGL, uh, you know, efficiently. Like I, I think Scream is uh, Scream is gonna uh, grief himself a bit again, like in Liquid, and uh, this might be a problem. So I do think they're gonna win because you know I'm from EU and I'm a little bit biased. But I have never seen Van Plus Phoenix play before. I mean, no, wait, I did see Omega play. I was watching some VODs. And Berlin, I remember Berlin and Omega, but I can't remember the matches exactly. So it's like, there's too many VODs. Uh, anyway, no idea, but uh, let's favor Carmine Cop because, you know, I'm from EU. Now, BBL versus DRX Esports. Guys, I am part of DRX, pave the way and so on. But there's just no way that you're going to be a non-fan and say, oh yeah, BBL has a chance here. This is good. This is, I hope I'm not jinxing DRX. I beg, I beg all the gods made up and not made up and whoever's there, 
please don't jinx DRX. But there's, in I don't think anyone who is just even judging those matches is going to say that BBL is going to win this one. You know? There's just no way. There's just absolutely no way. DRX has to win it, and I would say that this probably is going to be a big blowout. Now, Cloud9 versus Paper Rex, that's going to be an interesting, uh, interesting matchup, because Cloud9, we have so many nice names. We have Leaf, and we have Ye, like, like two huge aim stars in the team that also have really good support players, and I feel like this... This 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 Cloud9 team is gonna perform really well in normal events, but this is single elimination, and they're gonna be playing against Paper Rex. And Paper Rex is one of the teams that I would have absolutely hate to play against on LAN. Because those I would say MFs, you cannot predict what is gonna happen. You cannot. You can expect they're going to play a little bit more aggro than any other team, but you don't know what they're going to do. Maybe they'll play Harbor on one event, on, on one map. Maybe they'll pick Lotus. Maybe they'll play uh, Yoru, Harbor, Lotus, and Cloud9 will be like, well, what the hell? How do we play against this? We have to learn for the first few rounds how they play. So um, this is going to be a very, very, very close matchup. Very close matchup. Uh, and I would say I'm going to side in with Cloud9. I would love to go with Paper Rex, but I think they're just, I don't know, at single a limb and it's Paper Rex. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's a 50-50 in my eyes. It's a 50-50 in my eyes. All right, let's go for Paper Rex. Let's go for Paper Rex. Now... Next one, Evil Geniuses versus Team Heretics. Now this matchup, is, this, is, this is a weird one. This is a weird one. I, I, I have zero expectations of EG. Zero. Like, um, I don't really think they have, they, they have like the, 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 the prowess to win against top teams when it comes to EG, right now at least. I didn't watch them yet, right? And the Heretics have a lot of really good players. Zeke is one of the strongest players in, in EU. Um, Kellogg's sometimes shit, sometimes great. You can never really tell. Um, Mixwell. I just hope he plays a role that he understands well. Because we have seen in the past that Mixwell just didn't play the role that fit his skill set, and because of that, he was underperforming heavily. Now, the problem is that Mixwell also was performing the best at Chamber, and I'm guessing that on most maps, pro teams will not play Chamber. And by the way, I do think that I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to see uh, some teams try to go for Chamber plus Killjoy or Cypher on some of the maps. It might be like really great choice for a super heavy defensive team. So um I would say that this is Heretic's favorite, but this is probably also me a little bit, you know, being EU based. But let's go for Heretics. Now, made in Brazil versus Talent Esports, this should be a made in Brazil from at least my perspective. I'm not sure if you guys in chat agree. Um, I'm recording this while interacting with the chat, by the way. I'm just trying to. So I feel like this should be made in Brazil. Like, and I, if, if you guys don't know, Paddy Fan is not playing, by the way. He has a, um, a, a, a wrist injury. If Paddy Fan would be playing, I would probably side with Talon Esports a little bit more. You know? But without Paddy Fan, this might be tough. So I'm siding in with Made in Brazil here. Next one we have Team Liquid versus Team Secret. And let me just remind myself of the lineup from Secret. 
Jesse was playing here, Dubsa was playing here, Dispenser was playing as well. They changed Bokum, right? God damn it, I can't remember exactly. But yeah, there's, there's just no way. There's just no way that Secret wins this. There's just absolutely zero chance this is going to be a blowout for Liquid. So, yeah. Bokum was there as well? Oh, okay. But yeah, but that's, this is like DRX versus BBL. No one in their right mind would have said, oh yeah, Team Secret is taking this, you know? Or favorite. There's, there's just no way. All right, Navi versus Crew. Uh, Navi, remember, there's still single LM. Some, some of the comments after the tournament are going to probably be... Let's say this is going to age like milk. But Navi, I just hope that CNET is going to perform like he was performing before because he cannot find his place after the jet nerf. He was the player that revol revolutionized single-handedly the entire game by showing everyone how a jet player should be working with a team but also how a jet player can just single-handedly just kill everyone in the lobby by playing some really weird stuff like operator dashes. Like, there was not a single player in the entire world that was playing like CNET. And only CNET made it work, his playstyle. But he also, I, from what I remember, who was one of the first players that I have seen smoke off um, uh, Sova, Sova darts, you know, with Jet. So, yeah, I mean... Crew is a very good team, but I feel like Navi are gonna are gonna win this. And this is not me an EU fan. I do think that this team, Navi, should should have like really, really favorable matchup here against Crew. But we'll see. We'll see. Zeta versus Levi Leviathan. In Polish you would say Leviathan. By the way, uh, let's see. Did Zeta change any of the lineup? There's last, Sugar 010, Dap, Crawl. So it's the same lineup. And Leviathan, Mazino, King, Kaznet, Nozer. One player changed? I think. Um. Yeah, this, I feel like this is slightly towards Leviathan. I'm not that, like, convinced here. Like, but I would say 65, 35. That's actually huge. No, it's like, I would say 60, 40 towards Leviathan, I would say. Now, Vitality versus Global Esports. Oh, no. Prepare. Prepare yourself. Guys, remember, the only vote review that I did of Global Esports was like uh, over a year ago when I was being attacked in chat that I should definitely do vote reviews of global esports when I was doing other vote reviews of VCT. And the one vote review that I did of global esports made me not do any um, anymore. Like, it was so bad. The lack of fundamentals, the dry peaks, the ego duels, we're just so awful, man. We're just so awful. Also, Global Esports have everyone. They, they signed everyone who is uh, in their region. Um, but this, uh, I don't know. Molsi is a, is a fucking super consistent player, player kind of similar to Nukia. Not the same level, but still still very good. Then Twiston is, is, is nuts, I would say. I really like uh, how Bonkold is typically uh, leading the, 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 the teams that he's playing in. So I would say Vitality... This is like a team that actually found the, um, the stride, you know? And I feel like this is, might be the, uh, the moment for them to strike. So, I'm sorry, Global Esports, but this is Vitality taking it. Food Esports versus RRQ. I will be very honest with you guys here. Um, I think this is one of those matches that I will not plan on doing a further review. <laughs> Like, uh, this is, uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. It's, uh, I know Food Esports very well. I know the players very well because I watched them play so many times. And this is unfortunately one of the matchups where you can just, I've, I don't know. I've, food probably will take it, but it's not going to be interesting to watch. But yeah. Um, 
100 fees versus Edward Gaming. Who is playing in Edward Gaming right now? Nobody was playing in it already. Zmik was also playing in it. That's what I remember. No, Smoggy as well. I think. Did he change only one player? Hmm. Anyway, uh, we're favoring in one of the here. So, um, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind seeing the Chinese teams win, but I don't think, with the limited of knowledge, with the limited knowledge that I have about them, to favor them in any of the matchups. This is not like, oh, you're just you and a base. I just don't have the knowledge about the Chinese teams right now, because I wasn't paying attention to the scene. So I cannot just put them ahead because that will be disingenuous, you know. So, but yeah. Alright, Sentinels versus Fnatic. I mean, I do think that Fnatic is gonna win, but it's gonna be... Oh my god, one of the, probably the most intense matches that we're gonna see for a while. And I do think that Fnatic is gonna win, but I hope they're gonna not crumble under pressure. Uh, it's a single elim, super high stakes, so cannot wait to watch this. Cannot wait to watch this match. We'll see. And then... Um, T1 versus Furia. E, my friends, uh, let me remind myself. Yeah. Yeah, even though I like some of the T1 players, there's no way. <laughs> it's this, yeah. 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 All right. Round 16. We have energy, uh, energy Esports versus Giants Gaming. E yeah, let me close this up. This, this is most likely Energy. Then Genji versus... Uh, sorry, um, Loud versus Carmine Corp. This is most likely Loud. They have better synergy. They have good understanding of utility. And Carmine Corp is literally scrambling i think in that department so yeah this is most likely gonna end up like this then we have drx versus paper x now historically speaking you know historically speaking it should be drx right and i hope it will be drx so we're putting drx not biased at all my friends not biased at all i swear i'm not biased Hide the logo. Hide the logo. Wait, it's... Oh, no, it's on, on the... Oh, no. Oh, no, I cannot hide it. All right. My true colors went out. Anyway. Mm, you really think Loud has the same gameplay without the two star players? I think that they're gonna fix the gap because I do think they had great uh, understanding of how to play with each other. And that's not, not something that is gonna go missing if the coaching team understood that before you know um heretics versus mibr i do think this is gonna be heretics but we'll see them team liquid versus navi oh my this is uh, I, I i dude i'm just gonna tell you one thing okay when it comes to team liquid when it comes to team liquid this team right now has one of my favorite players in their lineup, you know, and and it's like I just cannot cannot wait to see Nats and Safe play in Liquid right now. So uh, this is gonna be nuts, but I do think that Liquid is gonna win. You know, we have Leviathan versus Vitality. I think this is Leviathan's probably. Full esports versus 100 thieves. This should be a blowout game, I would say. And then we have Fnatic versus Furia, and this should be Fnatic also taking it. And by the way, if you guys don't know, Fnatic right now has Leo in the lineup. And if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly, Tombiz was asking me for like top three agents during the off season, and my number one was Leo. Leo is nuts. He was super underrated for the past two years. Like, for the past, like, I don't know, maybe half a year, 
he was getting a lot of steam because he was being he, he was being recognized but in the first year and a half he was not being recognized for the super heavy lifting that he was doing and it's not because he was doing a lot of kills even though he got some in, in many matches but he the way he was playing with the team showed me that he's a great team player and understands fundamentals on, on such at such a level that he is just gonna do well in every single team that he's gonna be playing with you know so yeah then we have a quarterfinals energy energy versus loud i think this is gonna be energy close match 55 probably for energy then drx versus heretics this should be a decisive deciding win for drx because uh, remember drx is playing with one new player right there's one new player for drx but team heretics are gonna lack everything that drx already had worked with for the past two and a half years almost three years so i do think that on paper drx should be heavily favored against heretics less than against paper Ricks. i think for drx this is the most complicated match against uh, like here round of round of 16 this is going to be the most complicated match if they win this one this should be easier for them you know then we have liquid versus leviathan this is liquid then we have thieves versus fnatic and i do believe it's going to be a close match but fnatic are favorite and then we go into energy versus drx and we have liquid versus fnatic well i'm not going to be objective I just want DRX to win. And then we have Liquid versus Fnatic. And I do think this is going to be Fnatic taking it. And then we have finals. DRX versus Fnatic. And then, oh my god, dude. You guys remember, before I joined DRX, whenever was someone asking me, Yo, Lotta, what are your two favorite teams? What was I always saying, chat? What I was always saying? And my two favorite teams are the ones that are playing the cleanest Valorant. And that is Fnatic and DRX. So I would love those two to meet in the final. But again, paved the way. Haha, <laughs> thank you for watching. Oh, wait, 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 MVP. MVP. Mm. All right, MVP. MVP. Who do we put on MVP? Well, we kind of have to narrow it down to the top four teams because there's no way someone is going to get an MVP title from the teams that are not going into the semifinals. There's just no way. I wouldn't be surprised if the MVP of the tournament is going to be someone who loses the semi. So, um... I would say... I would favor a few things. I would go for... Huh. DRX, I wouldn't actually say for anyone for MVP. You know why? Because DRX is too much team-based. They're, they're not going to have a pop-off player. In my eyes, at least. Unless, you know, a new man comes in and just rips the heads apart. But then, for Fnatic, I feel like Leo actually can be an MVP. And so, Durka... Then for Liquid, I feel like for Liquid, we can see a huge Nats domination, you know? Or maybe Yampi will have the best tournament of his life, or safe. So there are like three possible MVPs, even if they're going to lose the semifinal. You know? Hmm. I feel like the highest chance of getting the MVP from all the players that I mentioned is probably safe. Maybe Ardis from NRG. Safe or Ardis? Where's NRG? Here we go. Safe or Ardis, I would say. One of the uh, one of the uh, one of those two. So I feel like we're gonna go for safe because many people will pick artists, so I'm gonna go for safe. And we're gonna save the pick him. Your pickings has been updated. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys are gonna do your pickems, feel free to share them in comments. And thank you. See you around. Bye bye.